be in order for the transaction to be consummated at a closing table somewhere, all he's really interested in is data that supports his position. Mm -hmm. So you can call him up and say, Mr. Fraser, oh, these, these buyers are such, they're the sweetest couple <laughs> in the world. If you could just meet them, you, 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 I, they just want this house so bad, I hope nothing stands in the way. His expression is probably not going to change from that right there. <laughs> That's the way he's going to look. So this guy, in the end, we've got to make him happy. And so what I'm saying to you, when it comes to CPR for sellers, pricing the property on the front end when you list it correctly is the best thing that you can do for yourself, your company, your seller, potential buyers, and this guy. <laughs> because he gets the final say-so. And nothing is more discouraging than to list a property, market a property, show a property, write offers, finally get offers negotiated, accepted, do repairs, everything else, and then five days before closing, an appraiser sends you an appraisal out that's $15,000 under what you need for that deal to take place. And you're wishing you would fought the battle way back there done the CPR yeah. on that seller whenever you took the listing to begin with. Right. Thank you for joining me today in this discussion of price. Next week we'll be talking about the realtor and the importance of the realtor in the real estate transaction. What you do to market property that makes a difference. Appreciate you being here today. Thank you. Thank you.